Cineweeps are all the rage in FPV right now. People are getting big into filming, but I've got to say this is the first time I've ever been like, that's actually a bit of innovation. This is a good idea. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, what we're checking out, it is the bump. That was a pretty smooth little turn. I couldn't do that again if my life depended on it. What we're checking out is this right here, which is the new Cine B or Bumblebee from iFlight. It looks fantastic, and this one, first and foremost, is made for you people who love filming. It is all about the film. It's not about the freestyle, the racing, nothing like that. In this video, we're going to break it down. We're going to give it a bit of an overview. Then we're going to go out to the field. We'll talk, oh, so talk about the pros and cons, all that sort of stuff to text and the specs. Then we go out to the field, fly it around and have some thoughts. And I've got to say, this one, if you are interested remotely in filming, uh, it is a huge improvement, in my opinion, over what we've seen in some of the other ones. And the big reason, it's got these beautiful foam guards around the outside where it's not every day I'd be hitting myself with a carbon drone in the head. Well, at least not on purpose anyway. So let's do it. Let's break it down as a bit of an overview of what this is. Let's put it on the scales as well for you guys. Hopefully we can get this on here. 275 grams right there once I've teared that off. So the whole thing, 275 grams, and it is made for people who want to fly around. Maybe film things like car shows, or maybe want to fly around indoors. You might be filming real estate. You put your GoPro on here, you get some hyper smooth happening, you cruise this bad boy around, and drones, they are really amazing filming platforms. They can go places where, you know, only they can go where normal people can't. They can capture some beautiful footage, and that's what this one is all about. It's not about those mountain slides though, or you know, I should say mountain runs, or going some crazy bandos, doing flippy floppies all the place. It's not about high speed. This is just about safe, predictable, smooth flying that is also not gonna damage the things when you bump into things. In the past, usually, we had these big ducks you can see on the outside which protect the props and also stop them sliping, slicing things up, but also sometimes they're made out of TPU. Some in the past used to have carbon and they could be a bit flimsy as well. This one, it's got, only, not only does it have a printed 3D, 3D part, it's got carbon as well to make it even stiffer and it's also, like I said, got this beautiful foam piece that goes around the entirety of the craft. That, for me, is kind of, th this is the future of all Cine Whips. I guarantee when people see this, they think, you know what, that's a brilliant idea. They're gonna start doing that because the frame is ridiculously stiff, far stiffer than any of the other ones out there, and also, it is safe. Like you said, I was bashing it, like you saw, I was bashing it into my brain, and uh, there wasn't too many consequence size. <laughs> It's a bad joke. Anyway, nothing could possibly go wrong. But let's move on, talk about some of the components, but we'll take it out of the field, fly it around, all that sort of stuff. So the text and the specs, what we actually have, we have the frame, like I mentioned, it's spinning some three inch props right here. They're actually special little props uh, connected to some Zing motors. They're 1407s. I believe, let me, oh, 1507s, I should say. They are 3300 kV. It's designed to take a forest battery. It's sort of, it's not very fast. It doesn't scream around very quickly. I love the frame that's all connected to it. It's just this one big carbon top plate, one big carbon bottom plate, a very, very rigid, but also not terribly heavy. It is just smartly designed. So it's strong, stiff, but not too heavy. Uh, in the middle, I'm not going to open it up to show you, but you can just uh, take my word for it. You can kind of see it through here. We've just got our standard F4 flight controller. It's like the Success X or whatever it's called. It's got a 40 amp Beo Heli 32 ESC. Uh, it's got our F4 flight controller, all that sort of stuff, beta flight OSD. We've got a nice Rattel camera at the front so you get some good FPV vision. There is also a DJI version, which I kind of would have preferred over this version because you'd get some juicy footage flying that thing around. I'll link that down below as well as this one. I've just got the analog one. Towards the back though, we've just got a little XM Plus, uh, normal 500 milliwatt VTX, all that sort of stuff. So it's fairly standard components. Uh, and then we can talk about the designer thing. And this one where, where it gets full marks. This knows what it wants to be, like I keep saying in a lot of my videos. Drones need to know their purpose. They need to know what are they designed for? What is their primary directive, as you might call it? This one, it's all about it being a cine B you can fly around, get some filming in some safe ways, in some kind of sketchy environments or places where you can't really afford to crash and you don't want to cause damage. That's what this is all about. It protects the craft well, and it's also gonna protect your subject matter well, whether that be people, cars, 
art, art paintings, whatever you're flying this thing around, this one is going to do some of the, I guess, better jobs than the other ones out there. It is very, very safe, I feel like. And like you see, we're going to be flying it into people. We're going to be kicking it. I think I punch it or kick it a few times. We fly it into some other drones, and it takes it like an absolute champ and also doesn't damage anything that we crash it into. And normally, I wouldn't recommend flying drones into people, but uh, my mates were flying it into me, and I was kind of having a bit of a giggle. I didn't feel threatened in the slightest. Now, pros and cons. Let's talk about some of the cons. It is not a racer. It is not a freestyle. It is not fast. It gets... It's definitely sucked up by the wind. You're not going to be doing flippy floppy crazy speed. Don't buy this drone if you just want to do the FPV experience and fly around. You're much better suited with some other things. Go check any of my other reviews. Most other drones that are not ducted, you're going to have a better flying time than flying this. This, think of it like a camera platform. Think of it almost like how you'd fly a DJI around or something. That's It's not made for the flight experience. It's made for the flight footage that you're going to capture. So that brings us on to the pros. Well, I think for it is the safest CineWoop option that you can get. It is extremely robust in terms of the actual craft itself. It is very, very hard to break. I mean, we just started crashing this thing into another drone on purpose, which I would never do with any others, but I just felt totally, I knew this thing would be fine. I don't know what it was. I was like, Tony, smash into me. He was trying to crash into me and the drone took it like an absolute champ we were kicking it we were throwing it this it's just almost unbreakable so i guess that for a lot of people is going to be a huge thumbs up so maybe also a beginner drone if you wanted something that you know you cannot break well this absolutely has got you covered it's even got camera protection at the front very very robust i think the weight is fine and overall it's just and it knows what it wants to be so it is a great great filming platform so anyway that's it on the bench the pros the cons the design which i love the specs that you've seen let's go out of the field let's fly it around i'm only going to show you some dvr because i don't want to talk about with the gopro on top and all that sort of stuff because look you don't get the gopro mount when you order this thing because that's separate and also you don't get the gopro so i'm just going to show you what the flight footage is like how this craft actually handles and then you can use your imagination and think gee where would i fly what would i film where would i be flying around with my gopro all that sort of stuff because look it's not going to be for everybody no one's taking this thing to the races so anyway let's go do it have some fun with some of the other boys see Jono crash my plane so thanks very much Jono for uh, slamming that thing into the dirt and just have some fun with the iFlight and Bumblebee and then come back to the studio and wrap it up so let's do it in three two one rodeo out here in the field with the boys we're just going to have some fun fly the Bumblebee around crash into some stuff Test out its durability, see what they think, all that fun stuff. Well, let's do it and show you some DVR in three, two, one. Boop. Radio, here we are, and this is going to be a weird amalgamation. Is that the right word? The weird conglomerate, anyway, of a whole bunch of random flights. Look, here's Tony just punching the drone, and it really didn't seem very spooky whatsoever. You weren't really threatened with this thing, even though it's a three inch. And most of the time, I'm going to say, don't punch your drone, all that sort of stuff. That sounds like a very obvious, stupid warning. But that's what we were doing because this one, it was all about how confident you felt with the drone being safe. The way you not only could you crash the drone, and that's all I really tried to do in these flights, really put it through the ringer crash it into as much stuff as possible get a feel for the flight experience and also how safe do we feel around it how safe do we see about our equipment around it all that sort of stuff but this one it just seemed to be unbreakable and in a moment you're going to see tony and myself flying drones trying to head them have a head on between each other and i got to the drone just kept bouncing off so here we go i'm aiming actually they're doing a little bit of flippy floppies it, it does have some fairly high rates aiming for the tree it's not just my poor flying when i do these reviews i want to put them to the test that you guys need to see and this one is it's not about the crazy acro, so that part wasn't important. What was important, how much abuse could I give this? You know, how's it going to hold up when you're flying this thing around? How the foam pad's going to hold up on the outside? And also, if you had your GoPro on here, what sort of footage would you be able to capture? And I imagine a lot of people out there, like I mentioned, they're going to be flying this around with a real estate car shows, just... Maybe you want to fly it around playgrounds, you're worried about hitting your kids or something like that. A drone like this is going to be very, very safe. Like That's why I keep mentioning it. Now, on to the actual flight performance, and i got to say, it was just average. Remember, it is carrying around a few ducks. The tune was great, so it wasn't getting any vibrations, but the wind was absolutely pushing it around like you wouldn't believe. So in a moment, I think we try to go full throttle into the wind, and you'll see what that looks like. And we are almost tilted at like a 
60, 70 degree angle. Then we turn around, same angle, and look at the speed difference. It is night and day. So it's definitely getting captured by the wind an awful lot. It's really blowing it around and pushing it around. So this one, it really is going to be suited to indoors. Don't get this one if you're just going to be flying around outdoors or anything like that. So overall, the flight characteristic, it was fine. It was smooth, but don't expect extreme performance, and it does get affected by the wind. Now, one thing I want to mention is the camera. The camera is absolutely gorgeous. It's a Rattel in there, so you should expect uh, some nice quality video. And in a moment, we're going to see Chasing Jono's Plane, which is a tiny little sort of white, I think it's a Zod Dart or something like that, flying around, maybe GT Talon. But it's very, very easy to track that plane, track that plane screaming around, even uh, on an old school analog camera like this. So let's cut to that now and uh, see what the other boys think. You can also see, look how much it's really fighting that wind to try to stay on that line. But hand, let's hand it over to the other boys and get their impressions as well. Right here, my battery's gone flat. Jono's gonna th about to launch, but I wanna capture it on film because I'm sure it's gonna go poorly. So, uh, and we also test the durability of the bumblebee. Throw it here, throw it, throw it, throw it. Throw it, throw it over here. I'm sure it's fine. So let's change packs, go DVR him breaking this, and uh, then have a laugh. Ready? Right, so here's that bit you can see. John is about to launch the plane. Surprise, surprise. How do you think it's going to go? Take your bets right now in three, two, one. Hurry up and launch this, John. Here we go. And of course, he takes off here. So no dramas whatsoever on his launch. Well done, Wingman Jono. You can see with the Rattel camera, you're not looking at too much, I guess, resolution or TVL. It's little, you know, remember this is just analog. It's still very, very easy to track. Nice bright colors, everything like that. There's no way that this craft will be able to keep up with a little three inch trying to spin around, especially fighting into the wind. So uh, straight away, I figured, well, I'm not going to even bother keeping up with that. And then, of course, he crashed it off scene. And here we go. Check this out. This is kind of not what I recommend as well putting more durability testing on the drone. I'm sure you guys will appreciate some of this stuff. Don't do it yourself, but look, it's all in the name of science. Tony and I just decided, let's crash our drones into each other because I really felt like, and here's Jono doing the walk of shame, going to get it. Granger doing a bit of vlogging in the background, but um, yeah, we decided to crash our drones into each other. And I got to say, they were fine, except we unplugged the battery. Radio, long range Tony. This is the iFlight Bumblebee, kind of like a Cine Whoop stuff. I don't have the GoPro put on the top. You've got a huge battery. Tree. Yep. First thoughts. We were crashing into this. We were just we, we were just flying into each other. It was a bit of fun. Uh, it seems pretty indestructible. You've got it stuck in a couple of trees, which is unsurprising. Um, but no, it looks um, it looks the biz. It's it's not light, but let's just see how it goes. Eh? It certainly got. It certainly looks like you could. What do you think about this phone part around the outside? Oh, I actually reckon this would survive a nuclear explosion. It's a, it looks uh, so strong. even if I put it in the bathroom after you've used it, it'll be all right. I use it in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, and what happened to you? You disappeared. You were like, you, you, what happened? Okay, I was having a really nice flight. We haven't crashed this one yet. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, but um, yeah. This, so I'll put this at the end. Yep. Yeah, having a nice flight, and then I found out that something has gone wrong, and I've lost my motor cable, so I lost all my throttle. Hey. And had no power we, in the curve. Could you glide it down though? I could have if I knew that I didn't have any throttle, but I was mid bank, and the wind's really strong, and so I lost all my momentum and <laughs> nose dive. Uh, it's, that sounds like excuses to me. What do you reckon, Tony? <laughs> I reckon it's a load of. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. So my first impressions. I think the camera's lovely. It's got a nice looking camera on it. Noisy. Yep. And you've really got to give it some to go into the wind. <laughs> it has got a bit of punch. Oh, but yeah, man, wind affected. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh. Yeah, man, you got to struggle to bring that back. Far out. I'm You're almost. Like I'm almost not... vertical. I'm facing the ground, and I'm only just moving forward. All right, now go the other way. Look when you go with the wind. Far, it's quick. <laughs> But right. I, but I'm yeah. Come fly it around. Hey, look, look, this I don't is want me. To go for a walk to go get that. I'm staring at the ground when I'm going forward. Yeah. No, so it's not just... made for wind. Not made for windy environment. No. You're gonna take this one out to do some crazy acro or bandos, Tony? Oh shit, yeah. I no, think... maybe not. <laughs> Gee, I can't even fly it sideways. It's just crabbing. Uh, um, certainly, it, it's a big friend of the wind, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's good. Look, really nice camera. Um, if I haven't said already, it's terrible in the wind. I feel like I'm pointing at the ground and you not making are, any you headway. Are. Like, come. Almost goes <laughs> yeah. yeah, the wind is all, yeah, almost. There we go. Like, yeah. bird trying to swim, like, there we go. The yeah. Um, but look, really nice. It's even just on this camera. I like. I'm liking it. It's 
Nice, we, nice little tune. We Ex should say too that look, this isn't made for freestyle. It's not made for racing. First and foremost, this is probably made, and John is kind of into these for putting your GoPros on the top of them. Yeah, it's, it's definitely around. a Cinewalk. It's yeah. a new format of Cinewalk going on. Have you flown one of those before, Tony? No, this is my yeah, first they, one. Because they're doctored, they catch for wind like crazy. And can I go up into trees and stuff? Yeah. And oh yeah. Yeah, you can. I was trying to smash it into trees before. Yep, there you go. <laughs> like that? Yep. Can I crash yeah. it into you, Stu? Oh uh, yeah, come over. Alright, here we go. Gee, yeah, fighting this wind. Well, yeah, those those ducks I'll give it a like. Jab. As soon as it loses the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of it. You're not getting the camera on that. Hey! Oh. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Where's my turtle, mate? Oh, it might be one of these. Flick them all. Find out what happens. Now try. And then. Whoa. Yep. Oh, and you're now good. flick them all back. There we go. Okay. Brilliant. It's got turtle mode and everything. Yeah. Works wonderfully. <laughs> Alrighty, -o. there it is. There's my review of the iFlight Cine B uh, Bumblebee, I should say, and just well done, iFlight. So I don't know who you're working with, guys, but whoever is giving you the information, or maybe you're listening to the community, listening to what reviewers are saying. You are making products that are pushing our drones. Say, look, they're not the most. I'm going to say, what's the word here? Groundbreaking innovations, but they're innovations nonetheless. And you keep taking one step, and then another step, and another step. A little innovation here, a little innovation there. Your drones know what they want to be, and if you take enough of those little steps, look, you look back at it, man. All that combined is a huge journey, and that's what you guys are doing. You are making kick-ass drones. They know what they want to be. They suit their purpose well. So hats off to iFlight. Anybody who's thinking about picking one of these up, either only two people, only two markets I really see for this. Either you're the filming type and you know what you want out of a Cine B. You're going to be doing some work. You want to get some really cool shots, real estate cut, whatever it is. You're doing filming with this. That's going to be for you. Or the other one, which I think it does have a market, is beginners, absolute beginners who want a drone that is almost indestructible, well, uh, they're going to like this as well. It's a safe thing. You can really give it a hammering, and it's going to be—you're going to be very, very hard pressed to break it. So, anyway, I'd love to know or what you guys think. Drop your comments down below. Subscribe for more FBV-related content, and as always, you beautiful people, happy flying. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Happy flying.